wish me the best of luck and I'll catch up with you when I can. <sighs> and they're our favorite airline because they give us Prosecco with a straw. Welcome back to X and Media X and another weekly vlog. It's Monday morning today um, and things are going my way. I popped out to get some milk for my cup of tea because we'd run out and when I walked back to my door the Amazon man was sat waiting for me to deliver a parcel which is very nice because normally they just bugger off. Um, I ordered a Wonder Bra off there the other day, a t-shirt Wonder Bra. So uh, it's arrived, fingers crossed it fits because I've been struggling to find a decent t-shirt bra that fits my giant bazoomers in. Um, I got one from Marks and Spencer's the other day, but it just really wasn't that nice um, and not very supportive and it was still 20 quid. Whereas I found this Wonder Bra on Amazon for 22 pound, no, 20, 21 pound or something. So um, I'd much rather have a Wonder Bra because the one that I've, the strapless one I've got from them is amazing. So I'm gonna try that on, but yeah, I feel like the universe is on my side today. Maybe after the horrible, horrible, week we had last week where everything just went wrong um yeah it's going well so i'm going to try on my bra and i'm going to make some bagels for breakfast and for those who are going to ask um i am obsessed with headbands at the moment they're just so handy to put on when you're in the house keeps stuff out your face and also i think they look cute when the fringe is down um they're all from primark or i've got a leopard print one from new look um so if you see me sporting them that's where they're from and they're about two pounds so i just bought a load of them and my glasses, because everybody always asks, are from Specsavers. All of them apart from one pair. Um, yeah, so you can just assume that my glasses are from Specsavers. Hashtag gifted. I am a, an ambassador for them. Um, but people always ask me where my glasses are, so you can just assume that they're all from Specsavers. But I've got quite a few pairs now, because uh, they are sending me lots and lots. So, um, yeah, it always looks like I've got a different pair of glasses on, but... It's nice to have different ones. I'm actually doing a job with them tomorrow that is very, very, very exciting. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I still can't believe that I'm kind of going where I'm going. I'm meeting the person I'm meeting actually, but I'm more excited about where we're actually going. Um, I'm gonna have a chat with them today and see if I can actually vlog it. Because they're a little bit sort of sensitive about what goes out where. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be an exciting day. So hopefully I can bring you along with me. So I'm not gonna show you the bra itself because it's far too early in the morning for boobs on the internet, um, but it's just a nude t-shirt bra that they do. It just, it's lovely. It gives a really, really nice, clean, soft, smooth line in under a tight t-shirt, which is what I wanted it for. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with this, really pleased. And it absolutely wipes the floor with the Marks and Spencers one, I'm sad to say, because I used to love Marks and Spencers bras, um, but they just don't seem to cater for bigger busted ladies these days. And yeah. I think I'm going to take that one back and keep this one. So, well done, Wonderbra. You win again. a few nice things with uh, Chris moving in, a little Le Crusette coffee cup, quite a few nice espresso cups because he's big into his coffee, um, a four person sliced toaster, very good, um, a nice little coffee guy down there and a rose gold pineapple print that is just literally made for this flat. However, we've also acquired this monstrosity <laughs> down here which is um, a Glasgow Warriors signed rugby top in a frame, I think, but it's absolutely massive. <sighs> Bloody boys. Hey team, it's currently um, about half past six and I'm off to go and see Maggie. Gonna go and have tea with her and her fam and just sort of go and see her because she's just <laughs> feeling a bit down at the moment. So we're gonna go and cheer her up. Um, I won't be vlogging because I'm not going to shove a camera in her family's face and be like, hello, 
I'm the friend who vlogs. Um, so I'm gonna leave you here and maybe catch up with you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big day in London. Still haven't managed to book my train because um, I haven't been given the full timings yet, which is just brilliant. <laughs> I'm a little bit stressed, can you tell? Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to catch up with you at some point tomorrow and I'll make it down to London and the event will be fine and it will all be good, but we'll see. Hey team, happy Tuesday. Um, today is a very, very exciting day. I'm not sure if I, I, should, I should be able to say because we're doing Instagram story today, um, but I'm going to London with Specsavers because uh, I'm an ambassador for them. Um, and we're going to the Abbey Road Studios off of like the Beatles and the Kinks and all great singer-songwriters ever. Um, and we're gonna go meet Gary Barlow because <laughs> he's launching a new range of Specsavers. So um, yeah, it's amazing. So I'm gonna go down and meet the Influencer Squad, all the other guys. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very nervous, but I'm, hopefully it's gonna be a good day. I'm dressed in my finest uh, fashion-y outfit because all the other influencers are like fashion bloggers and stuff and I just do not fit in. So I think I look semi-cool. Everything's from Primark the other day. You know I love a jazzy trouser. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to film during the day, but it's gonna. I know it's going to be a mad one. So um, yeah, wish me the best of luck and I'll catch up with you when I can. <sighs> Wednesday. It's been a slow morning this morning if I'm honest. I didn't get home until about half past eight, nine o'clock last night. It was a long old day. It was a really lovely day though. Um, I very much enjoyed it. It was so cool to be at the Abbey Road Studios and Gary Barlow was just really nice. Um, the Osiris range that he's launched is super cool. Um, we got given some glasses. Let me just see if I can show you them. I don't know what I managed to film yesterday, to be honest. It was a, a bit of a manic day. Uh, yeah, we got given some glasses. These are the first pair. I actually really like them. They're just completely different to anything else I've got. Because obviously, you guys know I've got a lot of glasses now. <laughs> Being an ambassador for Space Savers. So, uh, they send a lot through. So, I kind of picked these as something completely different. I quite like them. And then I tried on this um, pink clear frame yesterday that was so nice. I genuinely didn't see it on the list when we got to pick our glasses. So I've um, asked the PR very nicely if I can have a pair of those as well because we should get two pairs. So uh, she's working on that for me and I'll show you them when they arrive. I really like them. Uh, yeah, it was just lovely. And then I had dinner at Eastern Station because we finished a little bit early, um, but I had my train back at a certain time. So I had dinner at the uh, Gino De Campo restaurant. Do you know what? It was actually really good. I was very surprised. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I had like this seafood um, spaghetti and it was delicious. The seafood was so fresh. And the guy was really good at recommending a nice white wine that went with it, which was much uh, needed after <laughs> such a long day. And yeah, it was just really nice. Um, and I came home, Chris picked me up from the station, and then we just chilled and watched a bit of Alan Partridge. <laughs> and I uh, had a glass of wine together. It was lovely. So today's been a bit of a slow one, to be honest, because I was working so late yesterday. I kind of had a little bit of a lie-in, which I needed. I'm still so tired, though. I feel like sometimes when you sleep for longer, you get even more tired. Um, so I had a little bit of a lion and I've just been doing my admin -y stuff, like emails and sending over stats and all that kind of m malarkey. <laughs> My brain's not working. So I just want to say thank you for all of your lovely, lovely comments on the vlog. Um, I was really nervous for it to go live, to be honest, because, I don't know, like we said in the vlog, like, society says, 
um, maybe being knowing each other for sort of six, seven months and being together for three officially um, is a bit too soon to move in, but um, it just feels right. And so many of you have shared your stories where you guys did the same and you're like still married 21 years later and it's really cute. Um, but yeah, I do, I do think that the society rules um, get a little bit kind of less important the older you get because we have been through it before. We know what feels right, what doesn't feel right, um, what a healthy relationship looks like versus a not healthy one. Um, and we just got to go with our gut, really, which is what we're doing. And it's, uh, yeah, it's lovely. I'm just loving it. It's, it's, to be honest, it's just like normal. It, it's bizarre. It's, um, I guess I don't, I don't really sort of talk about it much because it's just normal. It just works. So, yeah, bizarre. Um, I was saying the other day though, like one of my friends, I can't remember who it was, said, isn't it funny how like you haven't cried or haven't had a dip um, for about, for like nearly five months now? <laughs> and that's because, well, not nearly five, four months. Yeah. Um, and that's because like literally as soon as David went out of my life, everything just went back to normal because it wasn't right. And that was what was stressing me out and giving me all that anxiety and making me depressed again. Um, just goes to show. So look out for those warning signs, girls, for sure. Oh my God, we watched this program on Netflix called Back With My Ex. Um, it's terrible, really cheesy, but it's great at the same time. And oh, some of those people on there, some of those men and one of the girls, oh God, absolute bloody nightmare. But it's funny, you're watching it going, yep, yeah, been there, yep, yeah, been there. Anyway, um, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and have a little bit of chocolate, I think, because I just, I feel like today is like a little self soothy day <laughs> while I work on stuff. Um, I got sent some new jeans from Digbeth Denim. Hashtag gifted. Uh, but I haven't had a chance to try them on yet because if I'm honest, I haven't showered. But I will jump in the shower at some point. Uh, they're really nice actually. Some like uh, indigo ones, some black ones. And I also got sent a new gilet from uh, Crew Clothing, which is like this lovely pink colour. I'm trying to wear more colour this year. So um, I chose pink instead of black like I normally would. And it's really lovely, it's so soft. Um, but hopefully it will be warm too. I'll test that out a bit later when I walked home. We are after the cinema tonight. It's actually like half past eight. <laughs> I'm gonna go and watch a film at nine o'clock, which is really weird, but it was the only showing that they had on. And we're gonna go and watch Glass, which is um, the third one after that Unbreakable and Split thing. So um, yeah, hey, it looks good. So we're gonna go along there. Can't take you with me because we would film in the cinema, but um, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Today's been a right off. Good morning, team. It's Thursday today. We've got another day in the office, um, working like a little squirrel and stuff. Look at all that packaging that people send. It's ridiculous. Um, my recycling bin is constantly overflowing. I need two recycling bins and just one normal bin. Um, yeah, so today is just another day in the office, scrolling away, editing, writing blog posts, sorting out stats for clients, doing invoices, all that really boring, boring stuff that comes along with running your own business. Um, but it needs to be done. So that's pretty much my life. It will get exciting again tomorrow, I promise, because I'm going to London again. Um, I'm going to an event with Air China um, down at the Ox Hotel, which is super cool. Um, and yeah, I'm going, I'm taking Lauren with me and then I just found out that Emily, my travel blogger friend Emily, uh, off of Princess Cruises and off of India is gonna be there too. So we're all gonna meet up for a drink beforehand and it will just be really, really nice. It's gonna be a long day again. I'm working in the morning, heading up there early afternoon um, and then I won't be back until super late at night. But it should be a really lovely job tomorrow. Um, lots of nice food and drinks and stuff, so yeah. Should be good. Um, so I will catch up with you as and when I can. Uh, yeah, I really don't have a lot to say, to be honest, today. Life is just good. Life is just sort of ticking along. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. This week is like, this week and last week, I think, are, are really weighing heavy because uh, they've been so full on. But we can't complain because um, it means that the business is going well. It's just, it's like buses. Like, it, it all comes at once and you get really stressed out. And then there's nothing for a while, and then you're getting stressed out because there's nothing, so I can't really win. But um, no, I'm loving it, everything's great. It's just uh, busy, 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 and not very exciting for the vlog. Sorry. Cue B roll of me just bobbing around the house. <laughs>
I have finally got a little case for my vlogging camera. Um, I've been me. Oh, <laughs> please tell me it's not broken already. Um, I've been meaning to get one for absolutely ages, and I just found this on Amazon because I saw um, Chessie King, someone I follow on Instagram. Uh, she bought it the other day. And she has the same camera as me. So I was like, well, clearly fits. Done. <laughs> Good morning team, I'm just looking more dishevelled as the week goes on. Um, it's Friday today, it's a very exciting day, I'm going down to London, I get to see Lauren, I get to see my travel blogger friend, friend Emily, because uh, I'm going to an event with Air China, which should be really, really fun. Um, but it's just been one of those mornings, getting everything done, clearing up everything in the office before I head out. Um, I'm not going to be back until like half ten tonight, so it's going to be a long ass working day, um, but it should still be fun. It's chugging it down with rain outside, I'm about to go and wash my hair, hopefully I won't get soaked on the way to the train station, one of those days. I'll film as much as I can. Catch up with you later. <laughs> Look at mommy. <laughs> look who's here with Emily. Looks done. Um, look what she's drinking out of. She was just ordered a mojito and we needed a straw. So I pulled out a metal straw from my handbag. Sorry, I just stroked your mint now. I have got clean hands. Um, and it's from Girls at Scuba. How's it taste? Even better with that. Now you're saving the planet. <laughs> just that moral satisfaction inside my heart. Desire for security is strong. Very emotional. She doesn't actually care. She's reading something on the phone. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> haven't you missed her? So uh, Lauren isn't feeling very well today, so she's not with me, so I'm stuck with her all night. Uh, brilliant. The photos are gonna be shit. We're here with Air China and they're our favourite airline because they give us Prosecco with a straw. Literally missed that out when I got it. So now we're in Zhou Zhuang where we are picking our lucky oranges. We're gonna write our wishes on them. That's Emily's wish. <gasps> don't, don't look. And we're gonna put them on the wishing tree and they're gonna come true because this is the thing that they do at Chinese New Year. morning team what is going on with my hair <laughs> um so it's actually monday today um i you've missed the weekend i didn't vlog which feels weird it feels very very strange um but i just didn't want to so i didn't <laughs> It's actually quite liberating. Um, yeah, Saturday, Chris and I just had a duvet day and we stayed in and we just stayed in our pyjamas. We watched films, we ate junk and it was just lovely, cuddled on the sofa. And then yesterday, oh, we, uh, oh, oh my God. Yesterday, we went up to see my mum and dad and took Toby with us and had a lovely roast dinner. I went for a, went for a dog walk, um, did the food shopping. Yeah, it was just lovely. So... That was pretty much the weekend, that's what you missed. Sorry, I, I, I think people are probably gonna be annoyed at me because I didn't vlog it, but I don't know, just didn't feel like it, so I didn't. Um, and it was nice, it was lovely. I had some lovely deliveries over the weekend from Pixie. They sent this um, delivery of a travel bag and it's got all their rose products in and it basically unzips. I can't do it with one hand, let's have a look. Get it there. Hashtag gifted, but um, I'm really, really impressed with it. I like it. Like it unfolds so you can put all your stuff in, which is going to be really handy if this trip at the end of the month comes off. I really want to tell you about my trip, but I daren't say anything until we get the visas through and yeah, until we get the flights and everything because it's been pushed back so many times. So, yes, uh, really, really nice. And Pixie sent through these. Oh, how nice are these eyeshadow palettes? This one's lovely. It's like a proper um, neutrally brown, like a cool brown. And these are like glittery, warm brown tones. Oh, I love, really love. And I've got a new Stila foundation to try, which is in the heaviest glass bottle ever. It's their Lingerie Souffle Skin Protecting Perfecting Colour. So I'm gonna give that a go. Uh, my skin is terrible right now. I did a face mask with Christopher last night <laughs> and uh, it feels a little bit better this morning, but yeah, it's really bad at the moment. I think it's because I've just been so stressed um, and I haven't been very well. I've just had like this horrible cold and stuff. So yeah, fingers crossed. Ooh. Fingers crossed it gets better. Um, so this week I am planning on filming a money diary because um, you guys like the blog post versions of them so much. 
um, I am thinking of doing another blog post version, but also filming it as I go along as well. So it'll have like a food shop haul and anything I spend my money on really. So keep your eyes peeled for that because, um, yeah, I think it'll be a good one, that one. We'll see. Oh, I also got a bottle of Chambord today. Should be nice for some Prosecco at the weekend because the girlies are coming over for Valentine's Day. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave you here. Start the next vlog. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, sorry I didn't vlog this weekend, but I just felt like I needed a weekend off and it was really nice. So, oh, so tired. I could literally sleep for England right now. Um, right. I shall leave you here. Thank you so much for joining me again. Um, sorry if it was another disappointing vlog, but this is life. And yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye! Got fluff on me, brilliant. You monster. A psychic reading. It's the heavenly liquid. Good morning, everybody. Well